It's a very powerful uh, call, Nahid. Very, very powerful. But it's a bit like the uh, question about the United Nations earlier in the show. In order to do something about it, you would have to get the support of the corrupt people uh, that we are both of us against. Uh, so there's no possibility that this uniparty parliament that we have now will investigate itself, reform itself. It's party time here. I mean, in this building right now, when I'm talking to you, uh, it's party time. It's champagne time for hundreds of members of parliament. There are some good members of parliament, of course, but not nearly as many as there once was. Uh, but for the system, it's party time. They're not going to change that. We have a government that gave hundreds of millions, maybe billions, of pounds worth of public contracts to non-performers, to people who'd never performed before, to their publicans, uh, to their relatives, uh, to uh, their donors, hundreds of millions of public money in the mishandled COVID fiasco. That's how corrupt our country has become. Now, you're young. Uh, I'm so old that my father used to talk to me about how uncorrupt Britain was. By comparison, he used to name them for some reason. He had a particular down on Italy. He'd talk about Italy having a new government every six months. That's before Britain had a new prime minister every six months. He talked to me about corruption in government in Italy. That's before we became 10 times more corrupt than Italy. 